Thank you for joining back in for devotions here today. And all this week, we're looking at the subject matter of just suffering and pain. And, and, and those of you that are really like stressed out right now, this is your week because we're talking about God's tear bottle. Now we're going back to the verse we're working on all week, Psalms 56 verse 8. He says, Lord, you put my tears in your bottle. Are they not written in your book? As I said yesterday, they had a little tear bottle there at the tombs in the Middle East. There at the tombs, representing that this person had a life full of great heartache. But God records all of your suffering. And you say, why does God permit this? Let's be up front. We only turn to him when we're in trouble. Now, the best of Christians... I mean, they go to church and they have their devotions. Oh, but your most meaningful prayers is when there is trouble or heartache that comes into your life. Now, look at me down here in Psalms. We're going back to Psalms 30, where we were yesterday, another verse, verse 2. Oh, Lord, my God, we, we need to pray this kind of prayer. I cried to you. I cried to you for help. And you have healed me. Now, isn't that great? He says, Lord, I came to you. I cried unto you. Tears were flowing down my face. They were dropping right down there, my tear bottle. And I know, God, you know all about this because you have a book. And the Bible says he records all the heartaches in which you go through. Now, look what Jesus says here in John chapter 15, verse 5. Without me, you can do nothing. You know, God wants us to know, even as New Testament believers, (laughs) there's not anything that we're going to accomplish in this life without him. And I'm going to be up front with you of some of my sins of the past as a pastor. Sometime I would have something going on, and I thought, you know, I got this. I do. And I wouldn't be depending upon God the way that I should. And then God would teach me a lesson. And he'd get me back to a corner of trouble. And I'd turn to him, and I'd cry out to him. Then he would answer my prayer. He just wanted me to come to him. He doesn't want us thinking that we can do this in our own power because we can't. You know, back in the 14th century, Robert Bruce, I hear hear he was heading up in in Scotland. He was leading his men into battle against uh, England. I mean, they're trying to break free of them and the bondage in which they had. Well, uh, England was coming after him, and they had their armies uh, chasing down Robert Bruce. Well, finally got separated from his men. And in the story, true story, he went running through the woods, the forest, and they had his own dogs chasing him. So, I mean, he wasn't going to get away. Well, then he jumped into the stream, and he went running a long ways up the stream, and then came out the other side and ran through the forest. Well, those hound dogs could only follow his scent till they got to the stream. Then the stream had swept his scent downstream, and it was gone. You know, I thought about that story And I thought about how Jesus died for our sins. And you know, when we turn to him, no matter what you did in the past, no matter how horrific, you just turned your back upon the Lord. And you did your own thing. And you hurt people. You know when you come to Jesus and you ask for forgiveness of your sins. And you know what? Maybe the only reason why you did that is because you're in a lot of trouble right now. Listen to me. That's okay. God's okay with that. And when you step into the stream of the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, and as a Christian, when you confess your sins and you cry those out to him, he washes it all away because he's such a great God. Now, I know you heard about my son Randy and his passing. Well, when we flew down to Florida in a little plane, he wanted to go down there to go home to be with God. Well, we were flying that plane in this storm. I mean, the plane was rocking, and we couldn't see anything but darkness and the clouds. I mean, you couldn't see anything. Couldn't see up, couldn't see down, couldn't see anywhere. But you know, once we just kept going up, and finally, we broke through. Oh, the sun was shining. There were blue skies up there. That's the way it is with God. Now, look at this. Look at me in Isaiah 26, verse 3. God says here, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. I I like that. I like, you know, when you're hurting, when you lose somebody you love, deep, deep, deep sadness will fly away on the wings of time, but you just have to keep trusting in him. I mean, you just have to keep turning to him and he'll get you through it. Now, I want to close one more time on this. God has a purpose 
for your pain. God is going to help you in the midst of your struggle. He is going to reward you for your faithfulness. So I want you to trust in him today. 